Shalom, 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 Kahalaga, how about Shema Mashiach, Yahweh, Bahashim, Harak, Hakadash, Brakta, Yahweh, Brakta, Yahweh, Brakta, to the Akiyam, what Akiyam after keeping his word, truth, and all sincerity, teaching the downfall of Esau, these two thirds, this this wicked queendom, and these heathens. Um, I just want to go over some stuff that's going on. Uh, one of the things that we see is, uh, <clears throat> is, uh, you know, Trump, Trump over here has a bounty by Iran <clears throat> for his head for $80 million bounty for Trump's head, which is really interesting because, you know, the Simpsons did predict Trump being in a casket. And, you know, if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be, I mean, it could be anybody, you know, like realistically, I think anybody could do it. So. You don't know who to trust. I mean, you got Iranian like spies over here. You got Korean spies. You got fucking gang members. Yeah, all kinds of shit. So, yeah, that this is just gonna be crazy. And I mean, they already said after three days of mourning, they're gonna start doing an attack. And Kenya just got bombed at the U.S. air base. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that. U.S. military confirms terror attack on U.S. base in Kenya. The U.S. military has confirmed to ABC News that there has been a terror attack on a military base in Kenya that houses some U.S. military personnel. The Somali terror group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the attack that Kenyan authorities said had been repelled with four militants killed in the fighting. U.S. Africa Command acknowledges there was an attack at Manda Bay Airfield, Kenya and is monitoring the situation. The official did not provide information about any potential casualties at the Kenyan military base that has housed U.S. military personnel for years. It is unclear how many American personnel are stationed at the base that has reportedly been a site for U.S. Special Operations Forces operating in Somalia. Kenya Defense Forces said an attempt was made at approximately 5.30 a.m. local time this morning to breach security at Manda Airstrip and that it had successfully been stopped and the airstrip was safe. Earlier, Al-Shabaab had said in a statement that some of its fighters had launched a daring dawn raid on a U.S. naval base known as Camp Simba in Lamu County, Kenya. About 500 U.S. troops are stationed inside Somalia, assisting and advising that country's military in its fight against the terror group. Yeah, it's about to get a lot worse. It's about to get a lot worse. <clears throat> yeah, people think it's going to get better. It ain't going to get better. It's going to get worse. Matter of fact, let's see. It's funny because we got a presidential election coming up. We got this purge stuff going on. And it's election year, ain't it? It just so happens to be. Ain't that interesting? Hmm. It's just so interesting that uh, it's election year. We played a lot of purge games this evening. We have just one more. It's called... Mommy's choice. Which one of you will survive this year's purge? The soul of our country is at stake. The purge targets the poor and the innocent. The senator's going to win. She's going to make real changes, too. It is a night that is defining our country. It's time to do something about that, Senator. The purge has to come to an end. You take a lot of risks, Senator. I have to. I was the only one in my family to survive. What made you apply for this position? I almost did something on Purge Night some years back. I want this night gone. I want men in all these rooms. We got eyes and ears on everything. All right. Let's begin. This is your emergency 
broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. Your government thanks you for your participation. Someone betrayed us. This is not a drill. with us. Yo, that's interesting, huh? Ain't that interesting how it's election year this year and Trump is having all these issues already and people want to, you know, go after him? There ain't no such thing as a coincidence. You know, you know the Bible says they, the Most High Yahweh is omnipotent, so omnipotent. So it's about to be uh, something interesting. Oh, look. You know, it says... Look for the signs in the sky. So we're about to get an eclipse January 10th. That's only in five days, so. But yeah, that was that was pretty much it. I just wanted to show that because uh, it's about to get bad out here. Like, I mean, if you don't think it's about to get bad, shh, it's about to get bad. Yep. It's about to get bad. Yeah, you got all these homeless people living everywhere. You got fires everywhere, man. Hey, it's about to get bad. For you women out here, it's about to get even worse, man. Y'all about to see. When this country's at war and they taking all your men, we gonna see. We about to see. Y'all wanna be strong and independent? Y'all really about to be strong and independent. And then Y'all gonna see the kind of stuff that goes on when there ain't no other men around. Y'all gonna see. Y'all think y'all cool. Yeah, all right, we gonna see. All right, well, with that said, Shalom, you have a shimmy, I'll shy, brok, die, have a brok, die, I'll shy, brok, Woo!